live from West Palm Beach, ladies and gentlemen. Bobby Fairways, Benjamin Schicker, Joey Coldcuts, Fat Perez. Another edition. This is the Bob Does Sports Podcast. Fellas, we are back in Florida. Big, big week ahead for the boys. And um, before we even get into that, just an underwhelming pizza pie that we just oh. had. I was going to oh. say, by the way, yeah, like the, the pizza pie, yeah, it was okay. I, I took it upon myself. Not taking it upon myself. I started to lose weight. I started shedding pounds I just back in L.A. Eat. No, in L.A. And then I'm like, all right, we're going to make some moves here. You know, whatever. Mm. We we go on these trips, dude, and we are the fattest humans yep. alive. <laughs> That's correct. And You're it old, is impossible. Yeah. And I shouldn't say impossible because, you know, whatever. You have a little mental toughness here. Yeah. It is so difficult to eat healthy on this trip. <laughs> You're only as skinny as your fattest guy. <laughs> and, <laughs> and we're struggling. You know, and, and, you know, I apologize for that. But... Yeah. Problem is, you know, we, we all get ideas, and when it comes to, like, food ideas, we got some good ones. That was John and Wooden. It yeah. is, I will say, it it is so hard to eat clean on these trips because, like, I just looked up today. We were on the way back. I just looked up today, and Preston's like, what do you want? We were just at a Taco Bell drive through Like, there wasn't even, like, a dialogue that we were going to go to Taco Bell. Like, there was zero dialogue about that. It's so tough. Like, I it's think he me. just, did you just put it in the nav? I knew it was, I didn't have to. I saw it. It's, it's, yeah. it's right here. I saw it coming from the airport last night, I, I, and I, yeah. I made a mental appointment in my mind to stop <laughs> after golf today. Mental appointment. It is tough. It's, uh, I think it's moderation is how you got to do it. Yeah, but there's no moderation. on The I thing with the trips, dude, you bust your ass out there, right, all, all day. And, and, like, it's great. But, like, you're on the course. You're filming. You're, you're playing. You're, it, like, it takes a lot out of you. And then you finish, and you're like, we got to pound food. And then that's what you do, and it's not healthy food because it's easy. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's just it's just a mental battle with yourself, you know. But I think I, I think we're on the we're on the road here. This is Which really random. Is that? But is 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 sushi considered healthy for you? Somebody tried to tell me that no. sushi wasn't healthy. How is sushi not it's, healthy? No, no, it's not. Rice. It's not. Sushi is not considered healthy. Like I think if you say let's good. get something healthy, no one's gonna say let's get sushi. Yeah, really? sashimi. Yeah. Sashimi's good for you, but I think. The sushi, the, the element of the rice, and depending what rolls you're getting, it could have a yeah. lot of stuff in it that's not exactly healthy for you. Like what exactly in sushi would you like say to stay you away like from? You like doing like Philadelphia rolls. Sure do. It's got cream cheese. Cream cheese it's got, I mean, for you. that's not healthy. Do you remember every definitely time? definitely ain't healthy. I used to come to your apartment every single time. We'd stop at Run. You lived at the old place. We'd stop at Ralph's. We'd buy like three of those sushis and just pound them. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> now, now I, we, uh, I look like I do now. But... It's, it's, yeah, sushi, it's, I, I wouldn't call it healthy, no. I think the thing is, Jet, is that you get to a certain point and the metabolism just bottoms out. And that's yeah. when, like, I used to eat, like, tons and I could, I, I, I don't know, I mean, I also worked out a lot more, but, like, I feel like when I used to eat a lot, I was okay. Now, it's like... You eat a lot and you just feel yeah. the pounds so, just pack on. Like and it's so much harder to lose it than to gain. So There's I've no never I've all. never had that my whole life and I'm not I'm not making excuses, but my whole <laughs> life <laughs> But I'm gonna I'm make that, an excuse. Like, never you know, they're, they're not an excuse kids, guy. Never has been. Those kids that you grew up with that just eat like shit, yet yeah. they're skinny as fuck. Yeah. So I was a kid, if you if you take one you make one misstep, you're just you gain two pounds. That was you. Not, not, not to make any excuses, but it's sure. just tougher. You know, it's hard. What's the term for that? Like big bone. I think it's like fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just, it is. Some my, kids are just a little pudgy. My you know? goal in life, like I've always wanted to get there, and I've just never been able to get there. But I think I know. Go ahead. Rock hard abs. No. Okay. Go carry on. <laughs> can I see what your goals are, though, Joe? No, it's not my goal. No, I, got, I thought you were you going that route. Guess what you're saying? No. Is it? Are you talking about health wise? Well, I, I just, I always wanted to be in a position where I was getting enough to where, like, I was in a position where I wanted to pack on pounds. Oh, like, yeah, man, like, there. I could use a, a 20 pounds oh. on me, and I could do it in literally, I think, a week or two. Yeah, like, 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 like bulking season. You know what I'd I mean? Love like, to be I've never season. needed to do bulking season. Yeah. Yeah, but sometimes when people say, like, bulking season, they mean, like, muscle. Like, I'd love to just be like, all right, like, I need to get fat. Yeah, like, yeah. I, you know what I mean? Like, I just want, I want to be lean one time in my life. Yeah, and I will. Uh, By the way, I will. I'll tell the. I'll tell the world. Like we're gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. It's unlikely. Can we that talk? I'm gonna get there or that? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's just. <laughs> yeah, it's just. FP's not giving you no, a chance. No, fine. Lean like, is not how? the word. I want to lose happen? like substantial amount of weight. Like what? What would I've you, done? Do you have a goal? Dude, when I moved to LA, I would. I look like I was like this, and then the first three months or whatever, I like, I, I just fluctuate like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I got to. Regulate. By the way, just to get off the weight for a second, it doesn't get talked about enough that 
when the jet came to to move to LA, usually like when people move, like there's all this, like there's moving trucks or like there's all this chaos or whatever. Jet showed up to Sheboygan, Wisconsin, which is where we were filming, literally with a carry-on bag and checked one bag. And I looked at him, I'm like, you're moving to LA right now? He's like, yeah. I'm like, don't you have anything? Don't you have silverware? <laughs> don't you have wires? Don't you have anything? It was the most nonchalant move I think I've ever seen in my lifetime. Good. I mean, stay dynamic, man. He's a man on the run. No, it was it was everything I it was no, it was, I think it was just all my clothes. It was two suitcases. We met at the Ryder Cup. So I didn't I was in Chicago. I literally took all my shit to Wisconsin and then we hopped on a plane from Wisconsin to to LA. Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Yeah, special place. Really, really special place. Yeah, yeah. yeah by the way, we really should try like a, that. I would be very. I'd, I'd be down. For Wisconsin that. trip. Uh, what? Whistling Straits. Oh, was, yeah, Whistling Straits. Well, I was gonna Aaron say Hills. we do Ryder Cup because Ryder Cup is in Europe this year. It's in yeah. Rome. In Rome in September. Wow. Uh, uh, Could be good. Yeah. Well, you're you're Rome? I, I I feel like the Rick Shields trip has you know hopefully that does take place, but it would be nice to maybe do all in one. Maybe. Yeah, that would make yeah, a lot coincide. of sense. Coincide. Yeah, just like that would a full make a lot blown. Of sense. You full blown Euro trip? Yeah. Have you ever been to Europe? You know, Bob and I went um, last year. Yeah. Oh, you guys have. I've never yeah. been. I've always. You know the one place I, I want to go? Where? Portugal. Yeah. Why? Really? I agree I with that. Heard I heard that Portugal's Portugal. Sweet. First of well, all, like, like Lisbon. I no. It was like I think I saw. I watched the World Cup one year when I was in like high school or something. I was like, that's Portugal. Yeah. Ronaldo. I was like, I want to go there, and I looked it up. It's apparently it's one of the most beautiful places beautiful. in the world. Yeah. You know what they're known for? Um, uh, Paella? These soccer? like world travel. Like windmills. All right, I don't um, want to go to Portugal anymore. But we can, yeah, yeah, because they're on the, they're on the, the they Atlantic coast. They have like hydro power Well, they have uh, that, uh, that through through one. Like they actually generate more power through windmills yeah. to, to fluctuate through the country than like electricity. More than they're known for it. More than Palm Springs? Yeah, that's a good yes. question. You that know. is they a have good question. That, um, they have that massive uh, wave. That surfing wave. Oh have yes, you seen that? yes, yes. It's like hundreds Every of year. feet high. That like. What do you mean? Well, like, like one, it's a. It's like this a one little. I don't know if it's this little. It's like off the cape coast, area, yeah. but it, there's like a lighthouse there, and um, like it's like it's like the most. It's the biggest wave in the world. Essentially, world happens. surfing championships. Yeah, and they, they do them there. You need like a guy to like, on like a jet ski, like a little boat that like pulls you up it, and then like. You go down, dude. If you, you saw look it, it up. if you saw it's it, terrifying. you would. It, it's like not even, even, I'm not even following. something you could think about. And then they have to like come get you, or you'll like die. The, like, the waves you. from there are like 50 feet high. Oh, dude, and these it's, guys it's, are. It's 150 feet. Is it 150? Yeah, it's, it's something like that. It's the scariest thing you'll ever it's, see. It's look it up, honestly. It's it's worth looking up. And you it's, can like, because there's a little lighthouse there. You can like stand and like watch this sh this thing happen. Is it's, it is it one wave a it's year? It's like no, because it's it's just like how this it all meets that it's like this consistent massive wave. Yeah, I don't, like I don't know if Portugal would it's be like for me. <laughs> I think no. I, I'm pretty sure they have that. Do you like? Are you a beach guy? Yeah. It could are there be. nice beaches in Portugal? Yeah, there's. They probably yeah, are. The yeah. other place, Cutsy, by the way, and I know you know very well is is Switzerland is another place I really want to go. I can tell I you feel a like, lot about I feel like the like you walk out into Switzerland. I did a layover there once, but I just feel Where, like Geneva. No, Zurich. Zurich and I think what? Where are we going? Israel. And I think um the uh I just feel like the air in Switzerland is just crispy. It's phenomenal. Like you can yeah. suck that shit. I in. lived in the Alps. I mean it's beautiful. It's it's absolutely I mean it's it's I mean, Bob, you went to Switzerland. You were in Lausanne with me, Lausanne with me this year for this past summer for for the big um Ma Maple's wedding. Yeah, the the only thing I said is I'm not I, I I'm not a big fondue guy. Everybody was <laughs> hyping about the fondue. It yeah. didn't that didn't. I mean, what I tried it once. Well, no. What I will say though is, it, it was amazing to me how clean the air was and just how clean everything. Yeah. Remember the lake is, you that know? we were walking near? How beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it yeah. Was it stunning. makes me realize we're such slops. And Bob's yeah. favorite thing, yeah. actually, which I didn't know if he'd like, was we took a train through Lausanne. I did enjoy all the that. way into Italy. So we went through the Alps into Milan. It was. Yeah, Europe. You gotta uh, Europe. You gotta experience the thing with Europe is once you're there, there's especially like in that little area. Like I, when I lived in Switzerland, you're next to France, you're next to Italy, you're next to Austria, and you're next to Germany. Within like two hours train ride, yeah, you could be in any of those countries. So nope. it's so accessible and so fun. And by the way, maybe the funnest thing I've ever done has been Oktoberfest in Munich. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. You got Joey Colcuts here, and I am excited to announce that the Big Golf Tournament is returning to the East Coast. Whether you're on the greens or you're watching from home, it's an exciting matchup to get in on. Today's video sponsor, DraftKings, is bringing the high stakes action to all new customers. New customers who sign up simply using promo code BDS pod and deposits five dollars or more will receive an odds boost of plus one thousand that's correct you heard me correct plus one thousand to any pre-tournament wager of up to ten dollars on any golfer to win this weekend what are you waiting for the time has never been better jump aboard let's get set and let's have some fun see description below for details Beautiful. Let's see, have you yeah. done Thailand? That's a very. I haven't done Asia. Like, Asia's on my list of yeah. places to be. Yeah, is, is Peru where that like Machu Picchu? Yeah, yeah, Machu Picchu. That way, is that yeah. Peru? Yeah, yeah. I really want to see up there. that, El Dorado, but I, I Machu know Picchu. that I. It's one of the, the wonders of the world. <laughs> what it takes to get up there. <laughs> I don't know. You take a train; it'll take you right up to the top. To Machu Picchu? Yeah. No, my uncle, no, no, no. Machu Picchu. True. There's a lot. Of, I've been there. There's a lot there's of. There's multiple ways you can do it. You can take a train that'll take you. Once you get to a certain point, you gotta hike in. Tick, when were you in Machu Picchu? I was in Machu Picchu in high school. And my <laughs> mom sent me to a different third world country every summer in high school. What? Spent time in Cambodia, Thailand, That's Peru, and Chile. This guy, man. You have lived yeah, a lot of seven lives. decades. <laughs> yeah. And I've been burned everywhere I go. Are you yeah. serious? Fried. Tick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skin. We did not Machu Picchu and El Dorado. That's I'm going to ask a dumb yeah. question. What exactly is Machu Picchu? I've heard of it. Is it one of the wonders of the world? I think it is. It's it's like a mountaintop. They don't yeah. really know what it is. I I think like it was some sort of. It was of like built by like the Aztecs or thing. something like that. And it's, it's just Mayan. but it's just a bunch it's of ancient, ruins. It's it's beautiful, but if you don't ever make it, you're all right. Well, where is it? It's, it's in, in Peru. Peru. Yeah. You seem like. But Peru. did she like book where you were going? Like, did she like coordinate your like? It was always just... built around like some sort of nonprofit charity organization. Wow. Like a yeah. like a mission or something. Or yeah, like it was a, a mission trip. Got it. Got it. You want to do that? You strike me uh, as a guy. No. Okay. I, <laughs> I did. I. I mean, I. Yeah. I've done enough missions in my life. Do you know where Atlantis is? I feel like you might. The Lost, the Lost City, City of yeah. Atlantis? Yeah. yeah. Do you Bahamas? have any like do you have any leads? Oh, you're asking me. Yeah. Somewhere in the Bermuda Triangle, I'm sure. Yeah. You know what? You know what? <laughs> when you say Lost City of Atlantis, all I think of is like Florida, Wisconsin, first week of the of the college basketball yes. season, playing playing in, in a in banquet Atlantis. hall. That's correct. Playing in a banquet hall yes. with like a work conference yes. next door. In the same commercial. And of, some white guy yeah. in Wisconsin is just <laughs> raining yeah. threes. And some commercial of just a kid <laughs> going like down a water slide. Yeah, yeah. A tank of sharks Atlantis over and over yeah. and over again. And every and then and then in between games they come back from commercials and it's the announcer and and Dickie V walking on the beach that's like right. waddling <laughs> into the pool. Yes. Yeah. Every uh, yeah. That's what it reminds me of. There's Linen always shirts. There's always classic too. The uh, the Maui Maui Vigil. The, yeah. the, the Maui Walt. gym. Yeah. That's like the start. Yeah. That's, that's the awesome. The Bill, the Bill Walton played in a high school yeah, gym yeah. where the rims are just the most forgiving things of all time. That's, I actually, that's fun. I think if you listen really closely, a lot of the times the guys that are calling the game next to Bill Walton, they get really annoyed with them because they'll just like cut them off and then just talk about something that has nothing to do with the <laughs> game going. He used yeah. to have a guy where every single game they would get a little chippy, and I don't even know <laughs> if Bill Walton like knew that no that guy was. Knew. I'm yeah, telling you, there were so many times I, I used Bill to Walton. listen to that. Yeah, I mean he's quite. A character, he really is. Has Bill Walden lost his fastball jet? Oof. I, I wouldn't say he's he's coming in hot. I mean, listen, they throw him on the Pac-12 at 11 p.m. every night. Where, you're, talking about, you know, you're, talking, you're talking about the Conference of Champions? Yeah, the Conference of Champions. If you want to see like Washington play USC on the worst camera angle of all time, you'll catch like Bill Walton will be on the call. Low key, my favorite nights ever, by the way, are the nights where Jet would come over to my place and we would just like. Hammer bets on the stupidest games ever in Pac-12. We're like live bet St. Mary's right now, and yeah. we would take like St. Mary's when they're down twelve against like who was it that they were playing Washington this year? We did yes. uh, yeah, and we just you just start firing. We'd order like a DoorDash, like it's the best bunch of stuff that we um, probably has led to us being bigger like we are now, and <laughs> you just roll with it. It's just it's, St. Mary's is one of those schools, though. You know, like like. Are they one of those schools? For, they're one of those schools for me where it's like they just ring a bell. It's like if St. Yeah. Mary's is on, I'm going to watch that <laughs> yeah. shit. I loved watching them this year in the tournament. I, I love that that basketball that they play, that like a lot of passes, backdoor cuts, like easy layup baskets on like really good 
high talented athletic teams and it's just like obnoxious and like you know yeah. you're like you know as a team playing them like in like the big 12 or like acc that like you're a better basketball team you better bring it but they just like they're up they're up 12 on you because they just went on a 14 to 4 run yeah and, and you're like, like how did that and, happen and, and, yeah and then there were no Chuck like they were threes. all layups yeah there's all layups any team that that i have to think a couple times of where they're located yeah. i fuck with like yeah, i have no okay. idea i think they're in california but Saint i'm not Mary's fully sure near san francisco there you go is that right betting betting with binyamin's a blast i remember like when i the, the first time i really realized that like binyamin was one of us you know what i'm gonna say i know exactly what you're what gonna, say. gonna say the rose bowl the rose bowl yeah. the rose bowl oh, game boy. when you yeah, got the grand Daddy of them all, and you start to go. I was like, oh, like this guy can hang. Like this guy. You didn't think he was he was into sports. Well, they like didn't that? know. No, I didn't know from a gambling. I knew he was into sports, but I didn't know from a gambling <laughs> oh, perspective that he was into it like that. Little like, did we know. Oh man, there was a lot of things we just didn't know we had coming our way with Binyamin. It, it just like <laughs> a young Yaman. What do you mean now we know. I by the way. You're gonna get upset with this, and I mentioned to you, and you freaked out. I didn't but freak out. You're wrong. Do you though, know what I'm gonna yeah, say? Yeah, I know exactly uh, what you're gonna say. I have never in my life seen this guy hit a golf bet, and this is a guy who oh, bets right, every dude. weekend. Oh, he is it. the worst. I have I've rode on bets with but him. You continue I, to ride him all the time. No, no. There's a lot of times. He's I don't, due. There, I'm gonna wait my of, turn. I'm just gonna keep he's talking. He's due. It, 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 it is one of the craziest. And then, like, even last week, like, I called oh, him to see who we had, and then I would watch to see if that person does. <laughs> and it's not even like he's going to say, oh, the odds that are, it's always like a guy who's 21. It's value play. That's oh, not yeah, the value. case. Yeah. He takes Who did he take the other day? Kucher. He took Kucher. Remember he took Kucher? Uh, that, that, that's okay. Kucher was due. That's okay. That's 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 okay. That's 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 chalk. Chalk. There's no how way Kucher was going to win that. Kucher's not chalk. But you, if you know you wasn't it? What tournament was that? Why would Kucher be chalk? Because it was guys. like a bunch of like Nobody's. guys that hadn't won yeah, before. Yeah. Oh, and it was like, yeah, it was three bad. Three bad. Yeah. Yeah. The the that's why ball? you guys are so, that's why you do it. It's, listen, if you turn, first of all, you're wrong. Like we, we've hit. Every, like maybe when you ride, we don't hit, but we've hit. Whoa. Like, but besides that, the when you're betting, Yaman? the thing when you bet, when do. you're betting on golf, like you say, the odds are they're different than anything else. So when somebody's chalk, right? If if by definition but, Jordan Spieth is chalk, when he's five back on a Sunday, he's not chalk anymore. Right, but but so those thing, are the but bets. those are not the bets that but, you take. You'll yeah. take Rory McIlroy no, <laughs> dead that's even correct. with correct. a guy. Correct. That's they're correct. both minus fifteen. Yes. That's incorrect. The guy in the field, but that's, um, that's in wrong. third is at minus eleven, and Rory McIlroy <laughs> yeah. is going up against. I I don't know. I will I, say, Bob, but you you th also that's will just wrong, bet our though. guys all the time. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, but that's either, <laughs> but that's either, no, but that's there. a positive, that's a good yeah. play. That's, yeah. that's a fair play. I just don't think you're giving me enough credit because you're calling it chalk when in reality it's not like, I'm not expecting to win a plus five, 600 bet on a Sunday. How many walked into Factors Deli on a Sunday uh, and uh, told us the guy that he had and he puts it on TV and we go back to my place and we watch Jet, it. Yeah. I will see this. Jet either we, runs by the very way, hot or very, the other very thing cold. Is the, what was the bet we hit together? The other thing is, it's been a while. With you, it's been a while. The other thing is, I'll tell you this. The, the other thing is, when you hit the bet, for example, when we hit Siwoo Kim, you, um, he makes one bet on a Sunday like that. And obviously, you're not, like, I know it, you're not in it to make money, right? Like, long term. Not. But I'm saying... You win one of those plus six hundred. That that fixes six weeks of losing. Plus, but, th th you know, that logic is so outrageous that you're not, <laughs> you're not in it to make money. That's exactly what. No, you're No, no, I'm for. saying. I, no, also, of course, like, that's you, not what you, I meant. But by the way, you're not, you're not taking plus six hundred. Sorry, FP. No, I want. We want Siwoo Kim at plus six hundred. Win on a Saturday. The Sony oh. Hawaii Open. You're sick. Oh, I'm serious. Oh, and we'll oh. talk about Spieth not being chalk because he's five back. But the reason he takes Spieth is because there's seven guys ahead of him that have never won. So yes, Spieth, but chalk, Spieth's, the, but chalk, Spieth's the best value player. Absolutely. He's the only winner, takes the big which names. is Chalk. But that's yeah. not Chalk. Chalk would be if Spieth was minus one something. If Spieth, if Vegas Confirm is not chalk giving rider. If, No, if Vegas it's is chalk not rider. giving it. <laughs> okay, so if John Rahm is in 47th place and you take John Rahm, is but, that chalk? But, but, but no. I know. But, but okay, yeah, the not, guys you know, you're taking are not. Somebody in contention. Chalk, yeah. chalk in golf is very different than chalk in any other yeah. sport. Because you can get a guy at plus 300 and that might be but chalk. But to, to our right. point here, he's chalk in everything else too. No, I'm not. That's what oh, I mean. That is. That's, that is, that's, that is, that is, that's yeah. true. I own, yep. I you want to talk about, by the way, hidden golf bets. The big ticket Tickets was on hot. a tear. 
for a little while. Uh, hold on a second. I I'm went not big done. last year. I went on a heater. You were on a heater last crazy. year too. You really went on a heater did. last year. You went on an I absolute like three heater. or four wins, straight wins. Oh yeah, and you were posting free tournament. Too. Yeah, 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 that's posting. that's that's. Jed That's and I wild. had a rough time recently with some live golf. Oh, Did we? Were Sebastian you Munoz. Oh. Were you, How do you oh, even yeah. bet? Oh, you, know you know what? Yeah. It wasn't you Munoz. Have, you, you, you Did you gotta, see like a Modelo commercial? And you were like, <laughs> yeah, it was like Munoz when like, Amanda Nunez yeah. <laughs> gets into the octagon. Munoz. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to oh, cut. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Shout out Corona. Oh, oh we can't do it. Fuck. Oh, oh, Munoz. Uh, Alejandro Villanueva Munoz. plays left tackle. Munoz is a friend of a pod. Now, isn't he the guy when he came by? Remember, he came by yes. at the waste management. He's like, oh, Bob the Sports. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're, oh, the, you're, the, guy. you're the guy. That's the guy. number one no, guy. No, you're the guy. Lee. No, Sebastian Munoz is Bob the Sports. You're the guy is Minwoo Lee. Minwoo Lee. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, two separate. Yeah, yeah. Two separate. But Jet, you said that he's your number one target. Did you see Minwoo Lee at the players this he year? He's awesome. The yeah. swag yeah, dripping off of this guy, guy was <laughs> unbelievable. He's so chill. He was wearing like a like a Steve Jobs turtleneck on <laughs> Sunday at the fucking players. Like, yeah. who has the swag to do that? I'll tell you who. Yeah, he's high Min up Woo. on your list. The, that yeah. is, we can announce that is a Trey Young rebound. That's a Trey Young we rebound. We did back. We need Trey two Young more rebounds. We desperately. Two. I thought that's, that's thought that was it. two. That's in Trey he's Young. He's got four. We just hit? That's it. Oh, wait, wait, the tick. Dude, don't say stuff Trey like Young that. is in. Don't say stuff like for that. For rebound, I will check right now. People, Are you serious? Why can't I be trusted? Oh, yeah. Mike, Mike, it, Mike, it, Mike, it. Why can't I be trusted here? Yeah. He is in. Trey Say it again. Is in. If he just grabbed one, he is in. Are you serious? He's You're four, not we have TV. over That's three and a half. Concerned. Bro, oh, people are going to be oh, listening. Oh, right. People are going to be listening kings. to this podcast. Like, the Hawks got eliminated four Come weeks on. ago. Yeah, 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 probably. Yeah. There's nothing better than doing a party bet at the Airbnb oh. with the boys. Oh. Yeah, it is. It's way. fun. Well, the alternative isn't very good. <laughs> we just like go to bed early. Well, and, like, tickets suggested playing Risk tonight. Tonight. We have yeah. a real problem. <laughs> 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 the rock has gone completely yeah. cold. Risk or Monopoly. Yeah. 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 Completely yeah. cold on us. I see Yahtzee over there, which is a fantastic How do you game. put, which which one is Yahtzee? Yahtzee's, Yahtzee's a dice, roll, dice rolling game. Yeah, like, yeah poker that's hands. a fun one. Like poker hands using see, dice. board games I fuck to me are like Boggle. I fuck with all those games in there. Sorry, I don't know so well. Sorry is a great game. They have um risk over there. There's a movie coming out about George Foreman. Um, and with all due respect to George Foreman, I just don't see me watching that film. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm just I What do you have against George Foreman? I, I have nothing against um, great, so great guy, with, great with grill, all, great boxer. Yeah, Are you gonna watch that movie? Is great. By the way, he's is he the grill? He's yeah, the yeah, grill guy. It's the boxer and the grill, the grill guy. guy. Yeah. He's yeah. the original grill Wait, guy. Wait, am I gonna watch a movie? I didn't know it was coming out. I did see a trailer for the new White Man Can't Jump starring Jack Harlow I that I'm undecided on. Is he actually the star in that? Yeah, it's Jack Harlow. Yeah, Did yeah. you know that um, like Jack, Harlow. Jack Harlow and Drewski, I thought it was after they you know, blew up. They no. had been friends even before they both blew up. Or maybe Drewski was big. That's great. And Jack Harlow. No, I think I'm they the were both. the biggest Drewski fan. I think they were both. Time. They were I both like not Jack very Harlow big. A lot. I like Jack Harlow a he's lot, a grinder, too. Dude. Yeah. 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 Swaggy grinder. guy, too. And he's, I believe he's sponsored by New Balance. Yes, he is. And KFC. <laughs> is he really? With Kawhi, yeah, which yeah. I, like, respect pretty yeah. heavily. You ever see those old videos? There's some funny old videos of him as, like, a child, like, rapping. Uh, no. Where it's like, you know, when you get those old videos of, like, it was like, oh, yeah, like, obviously, like, it makes sense. Yeah. It's not even, like, a good rap, but it's so funny to see this, like, little kid just, like, rapping. And you're like, Probably yeah, and he, he made, he's in, like, the school. And, like, yeah, yeah. I have a question for FP. Because you, you said you respect New Balance, but uh, this was question was asked to me the other day. I had to think about it. How much would you have to would would they have to offer you for a golf shoe sponsorship for you to rock Skechers? We gotta be careful. Everybody's got a number. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's a solid question. Um, Everybody's got a number. Even John, even John Rahm. <laughs> Man, I mean that's a pretty direct question. Um, <laughs> I've played golf with a marketing guy at Skechers before at Hacienda oh, uh, okay. in L.A. Uh, he was a nice guy. Um, shout out Rex. <laughs> shout um, out Rex. So with that respect given, <laughs> um, you know, I, it, probably less than you think. Really? Yeah, look, I, I'm a big man. I value comfortable shoes and arch support. Um, <laughs> so, you know, maybe we could design something that... You know, had a had a pretty chill look to it. I'd like to be the change for Skechers as far as. Could you imagine you just you could be you could you absolutely could. I feel like I could be, be the that change guy. For them. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, the narrative is, is the nature of your but question. It could be Perez. You're implying that they're not very hip and and. and I just and I saw chill. Fitzpatrick wearing them the other day, and it's just I don't know that nothing about them screams this is a cool shoe to wear. 
No, they might be very comfortable. I, I've never tried. That's them. how New Balance was for a long time. Then you get a couple cool but, people yeah, wearing I'm, them. I'm just then, saying he could oh, be New the Balance. Change. New Balance the is frat, nice. Frat yeah. cruisers. New Balance was definitely not cool for a long time. I and thought then that they was made a Asics. huge comeback. Yeah, they did. Them Depends too. on where Asics you were. Asics is also <laughs> yeah. a problem. New you know what shoe tight. people wear that I don't like is those Encore shoes, and everyone's wearing them now. The Encore shoes. My life. Encore. It's just on. What is Encore? Is it just on? It's just on. Encore is the golf ball. Oh no! On, uh, on just, those are great. That's like big. Really? I don't that's like big, the look of those. Uh, like southern thing. That's the new New Balance. You want really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're comfortable, man. I'm busting out a pair of shoes that I just bought tomorrow. Yeah, that I want to see. These. You guys are either gonna love or you're gonna hate. Can you show it to us right now? I, I have them. Uh, I have them back in Bob, the golf you've shoes. Been, you've in the been making some bold. golf shoes. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, did, yeah. Did you send me? What did he say? No. They're not the cameo you, you didn't send them to me. Oh. No, no. <laughs> yeah. you, Prez had I, I sent I sent you Prez a few pictures. Me so much with that, Bob. You've been making some bold fashion plays lately. I like, mean, the yeah. like in a good way. I'm saying no, no. I'm saying I'm saying like the t-shirt. Like uh, remember in Arizona, you were <laughs> the. Um, You've been rocking some T-shirts. You've been, you've been, you've been yeah, making the short some shorts today. The yeah. shorts, yeah, I do. Shorts. Shorts. Yeah, you're like making an effort. Shorts. You've been making, no, you're you're making some plays. Garrett yeah, said something to him, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Garrett said, that you yeah. Did yeah. Set him yeah. off. Yeah. What, what did he say to you? He said, uh, he's like, Bob, you really got your own style by letting you know your pants dangle beyond the the knees. He's like, I love it, and I'm like, no, you don't. And then I look down, and I'm like, it's kind of like very like what does old he mean, man. Yeah. Between you my have some knees. like my like it's below your knees. Yeah, like that's you're short. Well, you yeah. just you're just gonna wear like you're gonna buy something, and you're gonna wear it the way that it's made. Like if it's your size, like you're just gonna wear it. It's yeah, not like you you're also, thinking about like I just don't you've really got old have, man like you got yeah. some old man tendencies. He does. Like, yeah, that's I, fair. like 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 the but you also have like some hip bedtime. tendencies. Well, okay, so <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm not, by the way I'm not disagreeing. Yeah, I think that that's true. Correct. Yeah, but just curious, like what what would be my old man? Tendencies? Well, you go to bed at nine thirty p.m. That's yeah, that you is, you, you that's value like dinner more than you, anybody else in yeah. the world. That's the highlight you of your eat day. Dinner pretty early. Um, you call the grandkids every week. Like it's you know those three I think would be. It's mainly go, the time you go to bed and just I don't just like your approach to everything like you're, the, you're like an your, old soul, your tone yeah but you also have that like hip like swag a little bit so I don't you know you got a little bit of both it's a good place so uh. you sent me you were sending me shoes I guess you were at like a PGA Superstore or something yeah. you were sending me golf shoes with really no context and you were like what do you think of these and I was like hey you know those are all right but like not really like my thing you just you kept sending me shoes and i was sort of like yeah those are those are tight like you like, should, like I, I i was either was like that's not my thing or like i have those like oh my. but you should get them too like i'm not gonna you know we're not wearing at the same time and finally you're like bro like this is obnoxious. You're obnoxious to shop for. Like, I'm buying these things for you. Like, can you just, <laughs> yeah, can you, was, you know, and like, he was trying to, like, yeah. beat around the bush on, like, uh, finding a pair where I was going to be like, those are dope, dude. You should get them. And then you were going to buy them for me. And I just never opened that it, door. It was, <laughs> it was, yeah, it's for Prez's birthday. So I was trying to act like, by the way, happy birthday, Prez. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Perez. Yeah, I was happy trying birthday. to act like I was looking for me. And I just mm. went into the Jordan section because Prez just loved Jordans. Yeah. And I'm like, what do you think about these? Those? He's like, oh, my. Highly goodness. recommend those. I have them, and I'll be like, "What about these?" He's like, "Recommend those too. I have those as well." <laughs> and then just every single pair yeah, I mean, he had. He's got all the Jordans. So finally, I was like, just like, "All right, bro, like, like, pick something online. Like, these are for you." <laughs> like, I, I finally, I finally, just like, "All right, enough's enough." That's that's hilarious. FP, what are your thoughts on um, spikeless, like, tre almost like sneakers on the golf course? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I have a few pairs like of Like running shoes almost. Like I have are, those. Are, um, are popular now. Those Jordan 1 Lows. Like I got yeah. a bunch of pairs of those. They have a little bit of like extra like nub to them than like a, a traditional Jordan 1. Like like Bubby just wears like straight up tennis, tennis shoes. Tennis shoes, yeah, yeah. And he's got a lot of like torque and power. So, you know, I, I don't. Like some guys need it. Like you still have pros that wear like metal spikes. Like a handful of them still do that. So. I like that. I mean, There's nothing like that clickety clack on the car path. Yeah, I think it also depends on the conditions. Like if it's really firm and fast, you're not going to get a lot of like traction. So your like back foot's going to slide out a lot. I, 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 my answer to that is I have pairs of both. I don't really think about it too much. I just like looking frosh. Yeah, I, I will say you guys run circles around me with my my shoe game. Like my golf shoe game is is whack. I, just, I don't. Is it you? Yeah. I think it's, like I won't say them, but there, there's been some pairs that I got a little too comfortable with that just don't dude. have any swag. <laughs> dude, you yeah. know what I'm talking about. I know about. exactly. Do you remember those white so ones? The first, the first Jordan ADGs oh. were so sick 
The I don't third even know. ones were awesome, and the fourth ones are out now, a little traditional. There were the twos, the Jordan ADG twos that yeah. had that little like, like that, black yeah, square on the back, looked, oh, like on the heel. The Jordan ones used to have they were the like black white on and the black. black. Oh, yeah. They were like those were space shoes. Horrendous. You remember? That was before I even knew you, those I were, feel they like. Were horrendous. Yeah. And Bob, yeah, said, Bob said, those are the, these are the worst shoes ever. Those I don't know terrible. why I bought them. Yeah. They were re-released. They re-released a know. lot of Jordans. They will, you'll never see those again. <laughs> yeah, those were maybe Horrible. the worst Jordans. Unless yeah. we like go to like Mars and like they kind of look like spaceships. Was that just from you watching the content? Do you remember that? Or did, I feel like I didn't even I know you. Had, you might have had them in. You wore them um, towards the tail you end. You might have had them in Pinehurst. Oh, okay. yeah, I think yeah. so. Had them in Pinehurst, and they just but dug into the heel. They're just not uh, good looking. They're, yeah. they're yeah. hideous. The really ugly. Ugly. You remember them, Tick? Yeah, we played a lot of COVID golf. And <laughs> yeah, you're right. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's probably the only like distinct swing and a miss from Jordan brand yeah. that I've ever seen. I don't. Enough because the first with the ADGs shoes. were. Oh, uh, so you would know them. They look like boats. FP, yeah, which is, what are your favorite Jordans? Um, golf shoe? No, no, shoe shoe. I'm not. I only not, know I'm a few a big of sneakerheads. Okay, like, I like. I'm a golf shoe guy. Got it. Because the way you're talking sounds like you know. Yeah. What I really like the holy grail. Jordan for me golf shoe that I just like elevens the elevens. I yeah, want that's the everybody's top answer. Or the lows. I want the eleven lows. Everybody says the one gray or eleven, yeah. or like the white and tan, or there's like the white and black with like the kind of rainbowish. Soul. Oh yeah, they're like if they ever re-release. I like those, the I'll breads, every just the breads, like the white yeah, and black or sick. those elevens to me are like that. That's my. That's like the greatest thing that like I could ever get. That's a movie I would see. By the way, I think it's called Air. Yeah, we, I, I would watch yeah, that I'd movie. Like to see that. Oh, we got a bad, bad look from the tick. It's horrible. I saw it. You watched well, really it? Really got rave reviews. reviews. I just don't feel like it. I like. I've heard from people that it's like really good, and I saw the thing. I was like, "This is," and I love. But you know, you look. We love Bateman. Yeah. Oh, we love fan. him. Biggest fan. But it looks terrible. And they do the move where they never show you Jordan. They like, yeah. They it's like, you hear him. Like, apparently, you hear him. Probably see yeah, you, like his presence is felt, or like he's walking out of a room while a main character's walking into a room. It's like, just show the guy. Just show they Jordan. Couldn't like it like a blessing. It's they like said, in Seinfeld yeah. when they never Jordan. showed George, George Steinbrenner. Steinbrenner. Yeah, yeah, they were trying to pull that move off. Or, but they didn't or do it's it like in uh, Home Improvement where they, they never show Wilson. Him. Yeah, Mr. Wilson. They said they didn't want. I mean, I don't know if it's true. I saw Ben Affleck said like he didn't want like. You don't want to put if you're gonna do Michael Jordan, it has to be him. Like you're not putting an actor. Yeah, to him. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's a cool place to be in life. That's what Ben Affleck right? said. That's like a really awesome spot to be. Yeah, where like they like you can't even have somebody act for you. Like, yeah, people always like like if you if you were in a movie, who would you want your, who would play you, your yeah. actor to be? In? And like it's like you can't have Jordan. Jordan <laughs> yeah, Jordan, nobody. So. Perez, who would you crazy. have play you? Oh God, I hate this question. That's a, I like this game. You know, I mean, look, I know the answer, and I think I've probably, I, it feels like I've answered this before. I, I, don't, I know the answer, and I don't like the answer, but it's the right casting, and it's, it's, it's Fat Jonah Hill. Hmm. What about Jack or, Black or Zach Galifianakis? That's what I thought you were. I think Jack Zach's Black. much Zach better. Zach, Zach, Jack Black, Black would be Jack Black would be sick. great. Yeah, like, Bradley but, Cooper would be even better, but yeah. <laughs> I like. Yeah, not he's already playing me. Yeah, uh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Who would you pick, Joey D? To play me? Yeah. I don't give Leo a shit as long DiCaprio. as he does a good job. Yeah. Like, Tick, you know who would Italian? play you? Is the um, who's oh, Bateman's buddy? Who's Bateman's buddy that was on Arrested Development? Chris Pratt. Job. Who's Job? Oh, Will Arnett. Will Arnett. Yeah. Will Arnett. You're Will bad. Arnett. His name's Arnett That's too. Unfortunate. Yeah. But have, but you look. You kind of look. At, we have similar hair issues. <laughs> I think out. it's the forehead. Here yeah, we we that's a hundred percent what yeah. it is. You yeah. do give me some Chris Pratt vibes. Yeah. I've gotten that yeah. Before. yeah. Nice. You do. Sure. Used to get Paul Rudd too. Don't see you never that. Got, but you never got. I think Chris Pratt. I did. I did. When I was younger and more sarcastic, I did. Yeah. Got it. I could see that. Anyway, Bobby. I could see that. What are we thinking for you? I, I honestly I don't know I I have no I I, I legitimately it's true. I'm trying to think I can't and it's like anybody like I say I'll sound looks like exactly a douche. Like you. Unless, you got it? Can we can we bring somebody back that maybe like has been on the outskirts for a little sure, bit? Sure, of course. Maybe like a James Franco. Yeah, yeah. I don't hate that. That's nice. I don't hate nice. that yeah, at all. So. That's a good Very one. nice. I so. It's a great patch he's got, too. I don't know. It's a great patch. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good patch. <laughs> yeah. He kind of has a presence, like a center center. Presence. That's a good one, actually. Or didn't you say Billy Crystal? 
Well, you're seeing yeah, like, like a, a Billy young Crystal. Billy yeah, Crystal. Yeah, you're yeah. like a young That's Billy sad. Crystal for sure. <laughs> Meanwhile, Joaquin <laughs> Phoenix over here. Yeah, it's a yeah. no-brainer. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the reason I didn't ask him back then. <laughs> <laughs> the lyricist. I've been told. I've been told no less. I used to walk when I lived in New York. I would walk into like a Whole Foods, and at, and the, the, they'd be like, "Oh, you know who you look like? Walking Phoenix." I've I've heard it a bazillion times. And Joe was like, "Go fuck yourself." You should have. <laughs> no, I'm like, I don't, like I don't the mind it. Gladiator. And just like oh, there it. is a photo of him in so in in Gladiator, but it's I like old. You're talking I look. About. I actually I've seen it many know, times. Yeah. People send it, and like I look exactly like the guy. You do you look exactly it's, like it's, him? It's it's kind of terrifying. You almost look more like him from uh, the Johnny Cash movie, from Walk the Line. I see. I don't know oh, that movie. I just know yeah. the Gladiator, and yeah. I know the Joker, which is like a little little more uh, you legend. know a little crazier. But I I can you see have to it. lose a couple pounds for that one. Joker was the the hold um, on. <laughs> Me, me or him? <laughs> Whoa! That's tough. FB is now being thrown fire. Shots uh, have been fired. I'll take it. I'll, take it. Um, I, I do I'll just want to touch on one more thing before Chris we birthday. before we wrap up here. Um, is which is we're really really looking forward to. We are going to our next trip. We're in West Palm right now, Jupiter trip. Um, next trip, we are going to the land of Fat Perez. Richmond, Virginia wow. is where the boys are going to. And Go it's, Spiders. It's almost like we're going to Europe. Uh, to go to the shows <laughs> in the sense of like, you just know it's going to be the most well-hosted thing that you could possibly ask I for. am planning on playing the best collection of golf courses for on a trip that we've ever played. I think that's fair to say. The best uh, that Virginia has to offer. Yeah, yeah, yeah the best. I'm fair. saying, like, I think the lineup for the, for, for, I think it's going to be unreal. It's crazy. Game. I think sometimes, I, I guess the way I would say it is, like, sometimes we get set up at places and we, we kind of have to tiptoe around and be very, like, cognizant of, like, our filming and, like, our pace and stuff. Not that we're, like, slow by any means, but it's not, like, it's sort of like we're going to let you do this and not sort of like we, we're really happy to have you. And that's going to be the thing that is going to be awesome about Virginia is that every place that we're going to go to to film is like super stoked that's for great. us to be there. And yeah. like they're setting up like areas for us to do our podcasts at each place. And like that, that to me, like that makes like the golf, like having playing on a great golf course obviously is sick, but going somewhere where they like really are happy to have you, like th those are the best days, man, because you like. It just feels so much more comfortable. It really is. It's like I would rather have a course that's maybe not as nice that is happy to have us and like knows, you know, kind of what we're going to be doing than something really nice where we're kind of on edge. Sometimes like we show up to these courses and like I get like a little bit worried, like, you know, like asking for an extra car or yeah. people playing behind us or like, you know, there's like multiple things where I get worried to where, yeah, that I can <laughs> see to where that will be very, very we were so naive at the beginning, bro. You did the fireball challenge at Del Mar Country Club. That's like, pretty nuts, man. You, I, I remember at the beginning, we were just like so like just kind of naive, and it just like worked, but it's so funny to think. Even Do you remember at um, – I don't even know really if we can well. say this. I don't know if we can say this. Do you remember at um, Trump Jupiter, you guys put on Christmas costumes on the back of yeah. the – yeah, yeah, we did. That we dressed was, up as Santa and his elves. Was, that was pushing the envelope. I know people were driving. Was that our by. last nine there? Yeah, uh, yeah I think so. Yeah, like we didn't, I think yeah, so. that, that course, was our yes. yeah, that was yeah. our last like yeah. day and last nine there. That was a bold strategy. That could have gone a lot of. But different I was ways. you guys just put you just like all right, fuck people it. People seem to like. It. Yeah, they didn't. They they were pretty chill. Yeah, no, I think they part. found it funny. But you just never know. Like yeah. we'll go somewhere where like the GM or the head pro is like totally cool with it but he's like hey i'm not gonna be there but like you're all good i got you set up and then like you get to the starter and the guy's just like oh whoa 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 like how many cards do you guys yes, need like this yeah. is some this of the isn't starters okay. and are you're tough. like hey man like it's all good like we're like and he just like he just doesn't know it's not his fault but he's just like you're not taking six cards in one on group on this golf course yeah and like hey look it's his job it's i don't it's, but it makes it harder right we're gonna it's gonna be fun man i'm i'm, I'm stoked to like get you guys to virginia and just sort of show you like the parts of the state that I spend time in and go up to the mountains a little bit, go go down to the like bay and the river and it, yeah. mountain house. Cool. Yeah, yeah, and we'll, you know, a little, little, little here, a little there. It's gonna be fun, man. You know what, like when I, cause I had visited Perez in Virginia, what was kind of iconic to me, it was kind of like walking into Jersey Jerry's house for the first time when we went to Jersey Jerry's house, like 
when I went to Perez's house, like walking up where I've always seen like your ring <laughs> cam yeah, footage yeah, and like hilarious. just oh. going in his house. It was kind of iconic. And then the funniest thing in Perez's house is. Oh, you told me this. And, our, you know, dear beloved Dan Cole probably hates this. It literally looks like a clubhouse. Like it looks like a country club. <laughs> and there's just pictures of golf holes everywhere. Like That's there's amazing. no family you said portraits. Like Pebble Beach. <laughs> it's, like, it's like walking into a 19th hole. Like <laughs> it, it's, it's the craziest. It, it, looks, it, yeah. it looks like Oak Hill's clubhouse because every print that I have is like. From the 89 U.S. Open and the 95 Ryder Cup, or it's just like the clubhouse. It's like, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. She, she's, she does, she, yeah. I, I had a lot of this stuff, and she's like slowly like picking things up, and as she like gets something, she like one of my things comes down. I like, I slept under an aerial view of Pinehurst in like 1960. <laughs> like it was, it was the craziest. It was just like, it's just like classic, classic. As he's. he's He's, he's, a, he's the biggest golf guy I've ever met in my life. got to yeah. be very hospitable, too. Very good. That's what oh, I'm looking I'm for. Sure. Virginia trip. No, Southern Virginia's going to be very good about that. This is what we do down south, man. You yeah. Get, you, you, you're a guest, and we treat you. You know, you, you just you treat somebody like, you know, you, I don't know. You treat them like you would treat your, your grandmother. Like Yeah, like if you guys came to is. Jersey, you'd be fucked. Like, I'd have no courses lined up. <laughs> I'd have no idea. <laughs> well, we are going to Jersey soon, soon enough. Yeah. In the shed. Like, yeah. Yeah, we all got a little, like. Place out back, I, from a but. golf standpoint, I actually <laughs> yeah. would have no idea what we were doing. Yeah, um, but all right, yeah, we get, we got a lot to be excited for. Big things ahead. Um, big trip here coming up in Jupiter. A lot of content to be excited. Um, throwing a couple different things your guys' way, um, fellas. Last time I checked, as Trey Young hits a three and wow. the Hawks that go was up crazy. 119 wow. what a game. to 117. But again, we appreciate you folks. We love you folks. Big things ahead. That's been another edition. Bob the Sports Podcast. We will see you next time. Oh, wow.